What's up, babe? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya. If this is your very first time here. So y'all, we are just playing in makeup today. We are going to just be doing the face, going over some new PR products. I'm going to already give y'all a disclaimer. <laughs> Number one, I was not going to review the Apple foundation in this video, but I ended up doing it because we had a foundation mishap. So we are reviewing this today. And also there are some other products that we used on the face that I ain't feeling. So I like this look because I like the eyes because I know I've been on a pastel matte eye kick, but certain things about the face ain't doing it for me. And if you want to know what that is, just go and keep watching. So. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below if you have not yet so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also, make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. Y'all ain't never gonna let me get rid of that intro. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's do it. <laughs> Today, we are just pretty much playing in makeup. That is it. I've gotten a lot of new PR recently and I just got around to opening some things up. So I was like, let's just throw it all into one video like I usually do and we just gonna play with it. So my, my voice, Amira and I had um, game night last night and <laughs> apparently I was screaming a little bit too much, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> For brows, I am gonna be using this Charlotte Tilbury, we have a brow lift, and then we also have a Charlotte Til Tilbury brow cheat, which is a micro precision brow pencil. This is the brow cheat, and that's what it looks like. It's nice and thin, but then we have the brow lift, and this one is a little thicker. And y'all know I like to use the more thinner ones, so I think we're gonna go ahead and with the micro one, and they both have a spoolie on the end. So let's see how we feel about this. Oh, this is nice and dark. So I have noticed that a lot of people have been doing reviews on the new Apple Foundation from KVD Vegan Beauty. And I have it, y'all. I have them and I've used them before in an Instagram video for Ulta. So y'all, let me know if you guys want a full review on that to where we can do a wear test and everything like that. Because if so, I can do that next week. Um, I was gonna include it in this video, but because I see so much hype around it, I was like, okay, let me see if they actually want a full review and wear test with this thing. Because I think it's actually sold out right now. <laughs> so I feel like we got a little time before y'all can buy it anyway. So we're gonna skip over it today just because I don't have time to do a wear test. And we're actually gonna use the Morphe, the new Morphe foundation today. If they sent me my right shade. They only sent me one shade, sis, so. We gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt out my brows. I'm gonna skip through this. Y'all seen this a million times. And right off the bat, I will say that I do like this um, brow pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm even gonna say I like it better than the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows because I told you guys that pencil breaks so easily. Y'all, I got bags. Am I tired? I feel like I've had a bags like all week. Anyway, <laughs> it might be because I'm still sleeping on my stomach so I still have some swelling in the morning. But yeah, I like this one better than that one because it's not nearly as thin as that one. I think we might do more of a close up blend today. I think I might just stay like this so that we can really see a nice little blend today. Um, we do have the Morphe Filter FX Soft Focus Foundation today and they sent me shade Filter Rich 25. I don't know if this is my shade. Uh, not sure why they didn't send multiple shades to try out, but we're gonna try this today. I do not have a primer, a new primer today. So I'm gonna stick with Tried and True and we're gonna go in with Milk Hydro Grip because after that LYS <laughs> Beauty <laughs> video, when I showed you guys the primer for that brand, when that didn't even work for the foundation that it came with, when you're trying a new foundation, stick with what you know, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all, moment of truth. Is this our shade or not? Definitely thought I was gonna be able to pop that in the right moment, but didn't, so, so. Oh, that's one thing about getting new packages all the time. We gotta open it. So you guys know Makeup Shayla was kind of the face of this foundation, I believe. So we're gonna try this out. Oh, first of all, packaging is so cute. I love when they do like frosted packaging for foundations, cause it just looks so cute on your vanity, you know? We're gonna try this. Um, and we're just gonna hope and pray it's our shade, new bottle, so taking a while. That looks like it's gonna be right. That looks like it's gonna work. Okay, so let's, uh, I don't know. She a little light. That's a little light. That's lighter than I thought it was gonna be. <clears throat> uh, we do have the microfiber sponge from Morphe that gets nice and big after you wet it. So I'm just gonna start to pat this in and see if it'll work for us. You guys know I go light anyway, 
or lighter than my face because it matches my chest. So it may still work. We may be able to make this work. Okay. Ash City. Ash City. Okay, so I see <laughs> the filter effect that they're talking about. This is just not my shade. Um, dang it. I really wanted to try a new foundation today. Hmm. That's ashy on me. I know y'all see it. I know you see it. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I just hate when they don't send me the right foundation. I, I am just highly disappointed. I am highly tempted right now to go ahead in with the Good Apple Foundation, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> just in case you guys want a full video on it to see how it wears. You know what? Forget it. We about to use it. <laughs> We're gonna use it because um, I ain't got nothing else. Give a disclaimer. I know that this kind of went like viral on TikTok only from the thumbnails I've seen about this. Y'all, I do not be on TikTok. <laughs> so I have no idea what's been popping off on TikTok about this. Let me know in the comments, girl, because I don't know. But I'm assuming it's because of the coverage, baby. Because this stuff, the coverage is crazy. The shades that I got it's tan 74 and tan 72. So I'm gonna start with tan 74 so you guys can just see what it looks like on me. Yeah. And I'm wiping off this brush and this one is tan 72. I, I know y'all see this cover. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> um, when I used these, I did mix them both because obviously this one is way too red for me. But this one worked pretty well with a hint of that one just to bring in a little bit of a deeper tone but not really so much to get that undertone on it so so i'm going to continue on like i said with tan 74 and mix a little bit of tan 72 in there but this shade i'm not even gonna lie it's like perfect i barely even need a little bit of the other shade because this one is just so perfect for me i love it now I have worn this foundation for a nice amount of time, meaning like I put it on and just so y'all can see, let's come down. For those of you who do not know, this is why my face will be lighter. <laughs> see the difference between my skin, but it matches here. So I always like to get a disclaimer for my newbies. So you'll be like, why is she making her face like that? <laughs> this is why all of this should be the same color. So if I'm trying to dangle a little bit, everything is the same. <laughs> <laughs> but when I first used this um, for that tutorial that I did on Instagram, y'all, I did wear it for like the rest of that day. I took pictures. I, you know, went about my life because my makeup was done. I'm gonna have to say it is a foundation bomb. Because it is a bomb, y'all, I'm not gonna recommend this for oily skin. Just me. <laughs> now, yes, the coverage is crazy amazing. Yes. And What's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's amazing because it's easy to apply and it's also a different formula than we have seen. Like, it's different than what we are used to. You know, we're used to a cream or liquid foundation, a powder foundation, a tinted, who text me, girl? A tinted moisturizer. <laughs> we're not used to having a foundation in this type of format. So I feel like it's dope for that as well. I got a little burn on my neck. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can cover her up. That was easy. Let me blend her out a little bit. All right. Yeah, the coverage is bomb. <laughs> it just gets shiny really fast, in my opinion, y'all. It gets shiny real quick, so you've been warned. <laughs> Even though we're not doing a wear test today, um, I just know that from experience of wearing it that one time. and. I got a little shiny, even with the whole face on. So let's just see how it goes with the rest of our tutorial. We have two different concealers today, guys. There's a new Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that I'm thinking about trying today. It's an ultra creamy concealer. And then we also have some from The Ordinary. I might actually try The Ordinary one. It is a full coverage concealer. Let's see what shades they sent us. And these are available at Ulta Beauty. I think this one might be the one. This one is in shade, where's the shade? Oh, okay, dark for yellow undertones. And then they have another one dark for red undertones. I think the yellow undertones is gonna work. So this one, it comes in a tube that you just squeeze out. And that looks like my foundation, my concealer shades. And they said to apply and blend out either with your fingers or a brush. So I am going to apply it 
with a brush. They did say it's full coverage. I'm seeing full coverage, but I'm also feeling like this is very um, thin. It seems like a thinner formula. Usually our full coverage formulas are a little bit more of a thicker formula. And I'm getting coverage with this without the thickness of a formula like that. So I do like that because it kind of just feels lighter on the face, on the skin. I'm not a huge expert at blending out with a brush. <laughs> so um, I'm kind of just using this as an applicator at this point since it does come in a tube. But I'm getting the vibe that this is not necessarily made for what I'm doing right now. I feel like it's more about covering up imperfections and having like a lighter formula on the face to really conceal like, <laughs> you know, areas on the face that you want to be covered up. I feel like that is more of the vibe of this. But you know me, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> But what I usually use it for, and I'm actually gonna mix it a little bit with the medium dark one, cause this is a very lighter one. This is 3.0 Y medium dark, just to add my little smidget of a lighter color under the eyes and down the nose like I usually do. Definitely giving me full coverage, definitely giving me a lighter formula. I love, I am loving that. And I didn't even let this sit down too much. I feel like had I let this sit down a little bit more, why are my brows so close together today? We gonna fix that y'all, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I didn't let it sit down too much today and I'm still getting a nice amount of coverage. So it's definitely a full coverage. I do want a little bit of a deeper sculpt today. So I am actually gonna go ahead and take my Soul Body Bronzing Balm and put that all over the face, but we ain't gonna talk about it because we didn't talk about it enough in the past. <laughs> and this is in the shade Deep. But I will say, just to throw it out there, the elephant in the room, <laughs> this is a bomb just like the foundation is a bomb. So even though I don't think we've seen or I haven't seen a foundation come as a bomb, but we have seen this bronzer come in a bomb. Just wanted to make note of that because I'm sure some of us noticed that. And I'm taking my sponge and hitting the perimeter where those two colors are meeting to make sure we don't have any lines of demarcation. Yeah, I need to get better with my blending. I feel like sometimes my blending is just not, <laughs> that she's just not where she needs to be. And I'm trying to get better at that. Sometimes I be tripping big time. I think sometimes I just be moving too fast <laughs> and that sometimes I don't pay attention the way I need to. So by the way, y'all, we are vlogging this week and the vlogs are going to start becoming a normal thing. So I'm excited because that also means we might have more videos a week coming back, so, i.e. the three videos this week. <laughs> don't hold me to that, I'm still healing sis, so some weeks it might still be two. <laughs> but I am leaning towards giving you guys vlog content every Sunday. One thing I will say, if you do not accept this immediately, the creases will come, sis. <laughs> they will come real quick, so I'm gonna blend this out here in a moment when we go into powder. But we do have a new powder today. Um, this is the Silk Powder from Tatcha. You know, they have the Silk silk Canvas, which is a primer, but the one time that I tried that primer, it broke me out. So I don't use the primer. However, I did want to play with this. I'm scared though, because the other one did break me out. <laughs> but I'm hoping that I don't have the same issue with this. And I'm not even gonna say it broke me out. I tried it and then I start to tingle. So then I stopped using it. <laughs> Cause I was scared it was gonna break me out. So, same difference. Little, so I have a little informational that says that this sets makeup and blurs pores. It's a shield blue light and pollution. What does that mean? It's a blue light and anti-pollution ingredients that shield blue light, like from your phone. Okay, translucent and soft radiant finish. So it retails for $48. So. This is the packaging, first look. I don't know how to open this. <laughs> so, what does it say? How do you open it? Oh, oh, this, she shields it from coming out of this little circle. So when you pop that off, the powder starts to come out. Let me, okay, it starts to come out. Okay, that is a cool little shield to keep it in there so you don't waste product. It's not super white translucent. It is more yellow, if you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure these creases are gone. They recommend using this with a brush. Obviously, I feel like I I need a little more than that under my under eyes. So I'm gonna use it with a brush first under the under eyes and just see how it does. Hmm. See, that's why I'm gonna wanna use a brush 
I don't be feeling like it applies seamlessly for me. When I use a brush, I love using the sponge because I feel like it gives me more of a seamless application, like a more even application that really grabs on to all of the product that I placed there before. And it's okay for me for the brush for everywhere else on the face, but for me under the eyes and like where I concentrated concealer, I just be, I be needing, I be needing to really push it up in there. Maybe that's just me, but I be needing. Especially since I am oily. So for me, it helps to keep my oils at bay longer when I press it in. And this is definitely giving me banana powder and not white translucent powder. I don't know if y'all see it, but I see a yellower tone. I will focus the brush on the forehead and then get a bigger brush to put it all over. We do not have a new bronzer today, so I'm using my Fenty Beauty Coco Naughty bronzer and I'm just going to apply this a little bit. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not completely crazy about how this powder got my face looking right now. It's too yellow for me. I and mean, I don't know if maybe it's the concealer color underneath, but I'm, I'm feeling like I need to correct with my Laura Mercier. I don't know. I'm gonna try it again, maybe with a different concealer, maybe on a different video, but right now I'm gonna try to fix with my Laura Mercier powder. Let's just see what I can do. Oh, I might be making it worse, Lord. Okay, wait a minute now. Okay, let's just spray the face and let's see if that helps me because on this side where I went in with my powder brush, I'm feeling a little cakey. Maybe this will help us out, sis. We need a little help, we need a little help. Okay, let's see. Is there a different? That helped a little, that helped, that helped a little. I don't know if y'all can see how this side I have more coverage in th than this side because I think, because I use that powder brush. Maya, girl. Anyway, come on. All right, y'all, so we are going into the Flower Power collection from BH Cosmetics. And I must say I'm on a kick, y'all, because I went directly to this shade right here, which is Daisy. Y'all know I've been doing like those very pastel lids and we gonna do the pink one today. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm so on this right now, maybe because of the season, I don't know. But one thing I will say, I did prime my eye and I set it with loose setting powder. So I went into my Lua Mercier on top because I have found that <laughs> I'm in love with this, I'm in love. I have found that <laughs> if you know you're going all matte on the eyes, set your eye primer, concealer, whatever may you, because the shade will show up better. It will not start to mix with the wetness of the primer or the concealer underneath, which would change the color of your eyeshadow. So that's why I did set, because I knew I was gonna use this color as well as in my crease as well, doing a matte shade. I just don't know, y'all, why I just can't get away from doing these very pastel <laughs> matte eyes. I am just in love with it right now. So we did blue, we did greenish yellow, maybe lime, and now this, sis, and I'm here for it. Y'all, we had two pink looks this week. <laughs> don't worry, we won't have none next week for my haters. But for those of you who down for the cause, sis, you got a little treat this week. <laughs> Towards the edges, I'm trying to make sure it's kind of tapered because I know I'm gonna blend that into a more neutral color. So I don't want it to be as pigmented and as like there as the rest of it that's on my lid. So I'm kind of just going in small little motions around the perimeter. So with the blending brush, and this one is from BH, this is from their Weekend Vibes, and this is number nine. It's a blending brush, but it's a little looser. And the brush that I use for the lid is a Morphe M224. I think I'm just gonna do maybe this one or this one. I don't know, let me, let me see how it's gonna look. We dig it. Okay, no, that's giving me too much of a redder tone when I'm going for more neutral. So I'm dipping very lightly into Boogie and Radical, kind of mixing those two to get just like a muted brown shade for the edge of this and kind of hover it over. But this is the reason why I wanted it to be more of a loose brush because I didn't want this to be super duper pigmented. I kind of want it to be just a wash of color. And this is even reading more pink 
then I want it, I might have to color correct this in a minute y'all, cause it's, it's not giving, it's not giving what I wanted it to give. It's giving pink. Uh, I wanted to give brown, hold up. Okay, I found a color to replace. I'm going back, I'm going into this Ritzy Sigma palette, which Enrich is down here, and that's the shade that I want to use. Over here, I kinda changed it a little bit. Y'all see the difference? It's more brown, and I'm just gonna pat this over what I used, and just cover it up. Just using those same motions. I am gonna go back into that lid shade though in a moment because I feel like I, I done lost a little bit. I seriously feel like the key to doing colors like this is making sure you're mixing it with neutrals. Cause then it's not too much, you know? I'm taking a clean brush and just going around the deeper shade to get rid of the remnants of that more pinker red tone that we had there. For lashes today, I am using my Lily Lashes and these are the Miami Light. I'm gonna let my glue dry on doubles while I do my bottom lash line which is gonna be in Rich. We have a new mascara from LA Girl. This is their Jet Setter Mascara, and I'm gonna use this to prep my top lashes for my falsies, pop on my lashes from Lily Lashes, and then also use the mascara for my bottom lash line as well. Flower Power also has a blush set, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of this um, psychedelic here up in the corner. It's the deepest one, so I think that's the one I wanna use. But I'm just gonna say, y'all, I think I know what happened here with the face. I don't think that Tatcha powder is meant to be pushed into the face with a sponge the way I did. Because when I'm looking at myself up close, I feel as though the product is breaking up underneath the powder. Um, I, I don't know, but <laughs> it's not looking as smooth and as seamless as I'm used to when I put on my powder with a sponge. Maybe it was a microfiber sponge. I don't know, that's what happens when you be just playing with stuff. And that's what we're doing today, so. <laughs> I don't know what happened, y'all, but. I am very aware that it's not looking as flawless as I feel like my applications usually do. So, you know, it's cool. We gonna work around it. We gonna start, no? But that's the point of playing in new makeup. I'm gonna quickly put on my Revolution Pro highlighter. This is their Supreme Highlighter Palette which makes me wanna dip back into the palette and add an inner corner. They do have groovy and disco here that are kinda of like shimmer shades. I kinda of wanna go into groovy cause it's more gold and put that on the inner corner. Okay, that's a little too gold. I'm gonna go into disco. <laughs> and I like that this palette has colors as well as neutral tones so you really can create whatever type of look you want with this. So besides the powder problem, I don't know if y'all see it, I see it, but I'm feeling extremely, feel like I'm getting a little oily. Not oily, but shiny around. I feel like I need to take a sponge and start to blot already. And that's what I was saying about that bomb. Like, yes, it's super full coverage, but I don't know. It just gets real shiny to me, even with the powder. Now we did use a new powder, you know, everything like that. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm just feeling different than I usually do right now. I just, I just, I don't like it. We have some things from Juvia's Place. I think these are liners. Oh no, I think these are eyeliners. Dang it, I thought these were lip liners. Yeah, these are eyeliners. Sorry y'all, I was gonna use these, but I thought these were lip liners, but they're not. They're eyeliners and we're kinda off of that right now. <laughs> I feel like I just need something y'all to spruce this up because I'm loving the eyes and stuff. I'm just not feeling my face. So I'm actually gonna add a liner, a wing to my eyes. Cause to me, sometimes adding an element like that kind of <laughs> brings it back, especially when I'm feeling self-conscious or not liking something else and I don't want to start over. But this is my liquid liner from Kiko. I don't know, I feel like that gave us a little bit, spruced it up a little bit, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I feel like this should be proof, y'all, that all products are not made equally. <laughs> they are not made equal. And the way these are interacting with each other or just the product in general without interacting is just not hitting for me today. It's just not hitting for me. And I feel like it's been a while since I didn't feel like my face was hidden. <laughs> it's been a second. And this liner I'm using is from Ofra. This is their liner in chestnut because apparently we are going nude today due to the eyes i am using my nabla cupid's arrow this one is in arrow number what we got arrow number one which is a lighter shade usually i use the deeper one as a liner but this one i'm actually going to use as a lipstick because it gives us a very beautiful pinky tone nude and this is actually one of my most favorite lip combinations 
at this point i don't even want to zoom in y'all know i'll be zooming in to show you guys the full look i don't even want to do that right now but i'm gonna do it <laughs> just to show you guys what we're looking like and then we're gonna wrap this up all right guys so my most favorite thing about this look are the eyes i love the color of the eyes i am feeling it but i'm not too hot on how my face is looking i don't like the complexion i think it's a combination of the foundation balm the new powder that we use and the concealer like i like the concealer but i feel like it's more for lighter cover i mean okay it's a full coverage concealer but it's more for somebody who don't like to pile it on like me that's what i mean <laughs> um because i do see a little bit of some creasing with this concealer um but a lot of that could be because of this tatcha powder i feel like the tasha powder is so much more for someone who wants a very oh this matched my eyes today <laughs> i feel like it's so much more for someone who just wants a nice little veil of powder versus piling it on like me it's not giving me laura mercier and i know you probably shouldn't compare it is what it is but it don't give you laura mercier <laughs> so i feel like that is the main thing that i'm seeing with this look i feel like i'm seeing my powder acting up yeah that's that's what i feel like i'm saying but regardless i love the eyes overall it's cute i'm gonna take some pictures and i'm gonna edit them to perfection and we're gonna be good <laughs> i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up comment below let me know what you thought if you have tried any of these products in particular if you have tried the good apple foundation if you like it or not and if you have not yet please make sure that you hit subscribe below and i'll see y'all next time bye